Okay, well let's do this half box of ammo. Let's see what we can do with it. Okay. Right, two targets slow, two targets right. Low, six o'clock, one and a half targets low. Hit, target hit, bottom left corner on target. Did not see. That was just off the coke can, mate. Oh, dust directly behind plate. I think there must have one just underneath. Dust directly behind plate. I think it was just onto the left. That level of the left edge of plate. Right, two o'clock, dust just off the right edge of plate. Top left corner, dust just off edge of plate. Dust directly behind plate, couldn't say where it was. Nine o'clock, just off left edge of plate, dust. Dust directly behind plate, I'd suggest it was at 12 o'clock going over top. Couldn't see. Twelve o'clock, just over top of plate. Left, nine o'clock, just off left edge of plate. Hit on the plate. I think it was bottom left corner again. Uh, target swinging, cannot see. Oh yeah, just to the, yeah, just to the left of the can. Holy cow, nine o'clock, just to the left of the can. Pretty much dead center of the plate. Left and low, uh, half quarter target low, level the left edge of plate. Uh, 
Oh, just off one left corner. Just. Head on plate. Thing is the bottom left corner. Okay, so actual. One, one, two, zero. Windage. We ended up with 11, so that wasn't far off. Okay, okay well today we're just doing a little bit of um, end of season sort of stuff where we've took out the, well, we've got the 195 grain um, EOL burger that we just are doing a little bit more um, shooting with, come in a little bit closer at range, um, set up ourselves a um, ridiculously hard challenge. So we've got a, a um, Coke can out there at um, 2000. Well, actually, we'll do that properly now. So everyone can see. 2,254 yards. Or 2,061 metres. So you've got a 12-inch plate in behind there, um, and I essentially had half a box. So, well, I had 22 rounds, actually, of the burger 195 grains, like I said. Um, and so we set ourselves up a couple to get on there and then try and get it done in 20 rounds. Um, it actually, they're not heavy conditions, but there's a little bit of variance, and I was sort of having to, it would move it off and, and bring back in there. But we still, well, I think we're on the plate there four times. Um, and we're just around the plate, but I didn't manage to have no exploded coke can, so it's a challenge for next time. One, two, three, four hits on plate. Um, and there's a whole little mess behind there. It's um, still, it was a little bit inconsistent. The breeze was um, well, doing what it does, um, and it is sort of pushing the boundaries, trying to get down to this sort of thing. Even on our on our 12 inch target, we've got half MOA to get out here. So I tend to find in these milder conditions that the really have no reading of things it's a little bit nicer yeah, if the wind was doing this sitting up at the five miles an hour five to eight we tend to find it's a little more consistent but still good practice good fun um, and just trying to use as you can see everything's getting a bit greener a bit harder to see things so we've got to bring our targets back in um, and yeah try something really silly but um anyway hope you enjoyed and we'll um we'll catch you next time